excite it through your voice, how to get them, you know, engaged, actually enthusiastic about the product or service you are selling to them, because this is important too. And if you want an example of this, go onto YouTube and type in how to stop screwing yourself over. What will come up is a TED talk by a woman called Mel Robbins. And she is the best example of how to use the tonality of excitement. She literally, you know what TED's like, it's very, you know, you sit down on your chair, you listen to someone waddling around a little red circle. It's, you know, very formal. What she does is she breaks all of those barriers and gives the room some energy just by how she uses her voice. She has people dancing. She has people standing up. She's insulting the audience at some point. It's a great show, but it shows the power of energy. Because once you give your customer a bit of excitement, it increases the energy. And then people remember what they feel. So this is why it's important. Now, I'm going to give you a few tips, once again, on how to lift the energy off the room or how to get your customer more excited. The first one is to actually speed up your voice. Speed up your voice. You see, when you have a little burst of speed, it actually does lift the energy. It gives you a, a bit more energy as well. It makes you talk a little bit quicker. It makes you sound like you're, in you're excited about talking about this service. And then when you're excited, that transfers over to your audience. But of course, we don't want to be talking for too fast for too long like this, because then we seem real all over the place and really frantic and out of control. But what I am talking about is little bursts of speed. Just a little burst for a couple of seconds and then slow it back down because composure is important. Second tip I would have for you is to actually start your sentence with an upbeat, okay? Start your sentence with an upbeat tone. You can't make someone feel excited if you're downbeat at the start of your sentence. If you start with a downbeat, then you have to work your way all the way up to get excited again. If you start on a high, then you start in a good place. And of course, you can end on a downbeat like I spoke about before for sounding confident. So the two can go together quite nicely there. And the last tip I would have for you for being a little bit more enthusiastic is to just be a little bit loose with your voice. And I know that sounds weird, but what I'm talking about here is giving yourself freedom. You see, the best sales conversations are fun. They're fun. The customer's enjoying it. You're enjoying it. It's actually a good time. It almost feels like they're talking to a friend. And the only way you can get into that rhythm is to give yourself freedom. Don't feel you have to speak like this or you have to speak like that. Allow your voice to go where it wants to go. If you feel you have to lift your voice or laugh a little, do that. If you feel you have to bring it down, do that. But give yourself, grant yourself the freedom to have fun and it will make a difference to the energy of the conversation.